Hi, my name is Lana Sidenkova and I am a Ukrainian beer writer, translator, beer judge and overall beer enthusiast. In this video for Comer, Learn and Discover, I want to introduce you to a beer style that has a UK connection, a German background and a Belgian inspiration that doesn't belong to any of those beer nation traditions. What could it be? You will find out in a minute. part of the story. It takes us back to the year 1869 when Welsh businessman John James Hughes founded hugely successful metalworks and coal mines in what is now the Donetsk region of Ukraine. The town which grew up thanks to his enterprise was named after him, bearing the name Husevka, Hughes being a transliteration of Hughes. The settlement grew to be the fifth largest city in Ukraine and is now named Donetsk. In 2009, a proven restaurant was established in the city. To honor the founding father, it was named John James Hughes Brewery and became known as Yuzivska Brewery. This brings us to the German part of the story and the brewer of this establishment, Dmitro Nikrasov. Dmitro brewed variety beer styles, but his straightforward approach was founded in his belief that all beers should be brewed according to their Heiskebart meaning nothing added into beer besides four basic ingredients – barley, water, hops and yeast. The owner of Yuzivska, Basil Mikulin, who during that time was more curious and well-traveled, urged him to broaden his horizons, to think out of the box, to see behind the curtain. What better way to do this than to send Mitro on a beer tour of Belgium? Fast forward to the amazement and sheer excitement of the discovery that awaited him in the wonderland of beer. After all, they say seeing is believing and tasting is converting. And Mitva returned to the brewery full of ideas, ready to use spices, but still not brewing sugars. With the ingredient he had on hand and his newfound inspiration, he created a beer of golden color, rich in body, with solid residual sweetness, quite hazy, high in alcohol, lacking typical Belgian spicy aromatics, but flavoured with delicate notes of coriander. This beer was named simply Golden Ale. This beer was so loved by patrons, it became an instant hit and they enjoyed it for several years. Sadly, the war started in 2014 and the night was occupied. Vasil and Mitro had to flee and start over in different cities and different breweries but they took gold mail with them. The pleasantly sweet finish, a touch of spiciness and a gentle fruity aroma make it hugely accessible. It became an easy step into the world of discovering other beers to venture away from people usually drank and it gained a new fan base among Ukrainian beer drinkers who could not get enough of it. Other brewers noticed the popularity of beer style at the beer festivals and began to brew their own interpretations. Silently, it evolved as it spread across Ukraine and began to be more broadly distributed, becoming a little drier and a bit brighter. In 2021 alone, Ukrainians consumed at least 1.25 million of liters of variety versions of golden oil. And over recent years, there had been a chatter within the Ukrainian beer community that maybe it deserved some recognition as an original local style. Some believed that the style lacked a wow factor, while others were not ready to embrace ownership of a beer style in a country that does not have a century-old brewing traditions. Yet in the summer of 2021, the brewing community decided to give it a go and undertook a comprehensive tasting to compile a description of the style based on available commercial examples. So what are the main differences between Ukrainian golden ale and other golden ales? So, it is high in ABV and sweeter than British golden ale with a low for perceived bitterness. It lacks the typical aromatics of Belgian golden strong, again being sweeter but without containing added sugars and it's lower in ABV. The Ukrainian version is often lightly dry hopped and typically contains coriander, a combination which lends citrusy flavors. 
The style has recently been added to Antap Compendium, and we are awaiting a decision from the GCP and Tools Association guidelines editors. It has started to appear all around the globe as collabs and standalone beers, not to mention homegrown recipe. In the US, Poland, Denmark, Chile, Ecuador, Colombia, Canada, Ireland, and in the UK. Carnival Brewing Company in Liverpool brewed a version of Golden Ale in collaboration with Bava Brew and enlisted the help of breweries from around Merseyside and Bundabust, the vegetarian Indian street food restaurant. Carnival's take on Golden Ale with Sri Lanka used citra dry hops to assimilate the mold characteristics of the beer with some juicy citrus hop aromas. The beer was brewed as the flagship beer for the Liverpool Craft Beer Expo 2021. Another British version of Ukrainian Golden Ale was brewed by Full Circle Brewing in Newcastle. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm the head brewer at Full Circle, uh, and this is Josh. I'm Josh, the packaging supervisor here. Um, so we were in contact with Vava um, before the invasion uh, by Russia, and we'd already organised for Martin to come over and do a collaboration with us. Um, however, due to the change of circumstances, um, we decided to uh, change the the kind of uh, intention of the collaboration. Um, and after speaking again with, with Martin and a couple of other breweries in the UK, uh, we decided to brew the Ukrainian Golden Ale, um, a style that uh, was relatively new, um, but far far were champion in, in Ukraine. Uh, it's a style that we've not brewed before, um, but we did our own spin on it. We did a, a dry hop on it, um, and we left the beer unfiltered and unfined, so it was relatively hazy. Um, it had a, quite a high finishing gravity, uh, so for the UK market it was a relatively sweet beer, um, but it was definitely very well received. Um, the the Atenum in it um, gave a lovely kind of piney, noble um, balance to the beer, uh, to kind of balance the sweetness as well. Uh, this is something that meant quite a bit of myself as well because I've got family over in Ukraine, um, some of whom are fighting as well. Uh, so the money that we raised with this collab went entirely to Medical Aid Northeast, uh, which is a charity which works in the same industrial state as us. Um, they were providing medical kits like first aid kits, which are focused on like trauma first aid kits um, to help people who have been wounded in combat over there. So we were very lucky to also receive uh, a lot of free materials for the beer. Um, so we free, received free grain, uh, we received uh, hops that included don donations to the Ukraine, um, we received free key kegs, uh, so all that helped us uh, raise more money uh, for, the, for the medical packs. And the beer itself was, was very well received, we did it in a mixture of uh, key kegs, can and a, a few steel kegs as well. Um, all sold out very quickly and even, even today we sometimes get asked do you have any of that beer still available um, so it was a, a new style for us um, and a new style for our local market especially um, but uh, everyone seems to love it with five british collabs including ukrainian gold nail on cask at least one more coming in may and hopefully a few more this year i hope you will be able to discover this young but beloved style too Cheers, as we say it. Put them on.